größten, nämlich bei Frau mit was wirst du noch sehen? Year 2000, Lisebay added a new season. That was Christmas at Lisebay. It was going to be 15 more years before another season was added. The phenomenon of Halloween celebrations at amusement parks had been going on for a long time around the world, but Lisebay were the least to say slow. Very slow. As an example, Knott's Berry Farm had started with Halloween celebration in their park in 1973. That was at the same time as Lisebay celebrated 50 years. And by that time, I can promise you, they had no plans whatsoever to start celebrating Halloween in the park. Thing is, they made a great haunted house already back in 1998 when they opened Spökotellet Gasten. So great that it won a prize the year after in 1999. But that was all. Nothing more happened. This is a Coaster Stop theme park documentary. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. 2015. It was finally time for Halloween to take over Lisebay. They started teasing us on the website with a specific section for Halloween and a description of what had happened to the park and that it would get worse at 5 o'clock. A huge autumn storm has destroyed the park. Trees have fallen down. Pumpkins everywhere. Brooms and scarecrows. In the bunny land you find witches and the candy stores have exploded. But the main area of the park is the harbor area, which opens first at 5 o'clock. Entering here is like walking into your biggest nightmare. In the first year of Halloween at Lisebay, they had three new haunted houses. The first one was a tweaked version of Hotel Gaston. The second is the experiment. And the third, Doc Cabinetted. Cabinet of Dolls. That's how Lisebay sold the new season and they teased us good. We were so excited. And of course we were there on the opening day. Was it as good as we hoped for? No, not really. The thing is that Lisebay did almost everything great. It was just one small, little, very important detail. Lisebay underestimated the amount of people that wanted Halloween at Lisebay. It was partly chaos, to be honest. There was two less haunted houses, two less restaurants, basically too little of everything. Lisebay had calculated on getting 100,000 people on the whole Halloween season. In the first day, 24 of October, 32,000 people came. In one day, they almost filled up a third of the expectation for all the days they had planned to be open. Did this knock Lisebay down? Oh no, quite the opposite. It just sparked the flame even more and Halloween was here to stay. Almost every year Lisebay has improved on Halloween and 2016 was their second chance to get it right. The news for this year is District C and the scare area in the harbor is expanded over to Balder. You now only have a little safe space between the harbor and Balder, except from that you are in grave danger. What exactly is District C? The whole area is taken over by zombies and the staff that was working in this area are hiding in an office. It was a great idea. Until a window was broken and the zombies found the staff. This is where you will find this season's new haunted house, Zombie. With 
a park open more days, more restaurants and more scare attractions. Lisa Bay this time got almost everything right. And yes, we were there. More than once actually, and it was amazing. But we always want more, don't we? Believe it or not, more we got. For 2017, we got not one, but two news in the park. One of them was actually a ride. And the Halloween season opened on Friday the 13th. The ride was named Haunted Mansion and was located in a new scare area of the park named Nightmare. This area was home to zombies. Hmm, more zombies. No, it was just that District C couldn't be used this year due to the construction of the new roller coaster Valkyria set to open in spring 2018, which did not happen. In the abandoned haunted ride, something scary has moved in. Get ready for nerve-wracking close contact with your worst nightmares. Could be read in the marketing for the Halloween season. This ride is quite mad, in my opinion, but I love the effort from the park. I hope to see more like this in the future for the park and this video. Imagine if they could bring a moving roller coaster to Lisabay for the Halloween season. Let's say Helen Blitz. Wink wink Lisabay, I know that you're watching. Back to the documentary, Helen Blitz. The second new thing for 2017 was Linden or The Attic. And now everyone we're talking. The commercial for this haunted house is Creepy. This is such a smart and well-written little tune. And we joke about this every year as we get closer to Halloween. And it is honestly pretty creepy, isn't it? This is how Lisa Bai describes the attic. Behind the barred attic door, Time stands still and the forgotten children wait patiently for new trophies to be nailed to the walls. They do not hesitate to cross corpses in order to survive, literally. When they are forced into the light of day, it becomes serious and they put all the blame on you. Now it is your turn to suffer first time waiting in line for this haunted house, I can tell you that I was quite scared. It was so well done. And it starts with a ride up to the attic in a construction elevator. 2017 went and 2018 arrived. This year's news was Circus Bizarre. Welcome in. You may never come out and the Circus Bazaar was open with freely wandering clowns and flimsy music. This area is by far my favorite while being at Halloween at Lisabay. The whole arbor area just sparks with all the theming clowns and spirit barn is thriving in its natural habitat. The music in the area is a tune played backwards, which by the way is the tune 1, 2, 3, 4 by the Tiger Lilies. But the best part is the singing. Yes. Sometimes during the night the clowns and ghouls of Circus Bizarre decides to start singing. This year they were singing the Storen Galning i Kulissen, ha ha ha. There is a maniac behind the scenes, ha ha ha. 
all the clowns and ghouls were part of the ha ha ha. Sadly, to my knowledge, this was only done in 2018. Later years, they were singing different songs. So again, Lisa Bai, I know that you're watching, bring that part back because that was brilliant. This year, Valkyria is finally done, late in the summer season, which means that District C and the Haunted House Zombie is back on the menu. But what is extra interesting is that the area in front of the large stage is used once again for a temporary ride. Shocker is a mobile haunted dark ride and compared to Haunted Mansion that visited the park in 2016. This one is for me a hit. I enjoyed this ride so much and it is quite scary, especially since you are locked up in these small cages and the jump scares of this ride are fantastic. As I said before, I really hope to see Lisabai bringing more portable rides for the future. I'd love to see one already this year. Hello Blitz maybe. Wink wink Lisabai. And I hope that you're still watching. 2019 had a bad start for Lisabai before the summer season even had started. The CEO Andreas decided to step down from the job and start working for Tivoli in Copenhagen, Denmark. But almost in perfect time for Halloween, everything was back in order and Andreas was back at the post as CEO and the Halloween season hits a new record again. For the fifth year in a row, the Halloween season keeps on growing and after 16 open days in 2019, they have gotten 351,000 guests. Not much news in the Halloween area for this season, to be honest. Oh yeah, it was that one thing called Skogen or the woods. Skogen is the first outdoor haunted house and yeah, it's not much to say. It never turned into a hit. Not for me at least, and the weather in Gothenburg this time of year is the least to say unpredictable. Except from that, this year, as per usual by this time, Circus Bizarre and District C as outdoor scariest. The experiment, Zombie, Gasten, Skogen and Winden as haunted houses. Lisebay has been open since 1923, not in the park's 97 year old long history, it has been closed. Not once, not even a little bit, not even during the second world war, but 2020 arched the gates to the park and for the first time in history the park was closed. Let's move along. 2021 came and the park was allowed to open again. Not in April but in May. But then not in May but in June. 
And yes, this time it happened. The park was back open, though with very much limited capacity, but it was open. Halloween season came and the park upped the game and could finally bring in more guests. Of course, since the park was closed during 2020, we couldn't expect that much of a change for Halloween, since the park was holding hard in their money. Which of course makes full sense. With that said, they still re-themed Spökotel Gasten to the card house, which honestly, in my opinion, was a hit. Yes, finally a good overlay to Gaston. It is such a great haunted house and I do hope for a return in 2022. Before we talk about the future, I was thinking that we need to talk about the band commercials. Yes, the band commercials. Every year this band makes a trailer or commercial to promote the new Halloween season. Thing is though, that every year they get a violence rating and 18 plus. So therefore, it is never really listed by Lisevari. It is embedded on their website, but is never linked officially on their YouTube channel. And if it were to be, you have to be over 18 to watch them. That's how good of a job they do. Could we see a new Scaria for Halloween 2022, or a new haunted house, or another portable ride being brought in? I think that we can get at least two of those, and why do I think that? Because it is time to expand Halloween at least a body. More scary, more creepy, more haunted. The most probable thing to happen for Halloween season in 2022 would be a brand new Scaria somewhere in the park and also another haunted house or at least replace one of the old ones. For me Halloween is the coziest season of Lisebae. I know it does not sound right but I just love it. All the lights and decorations are just stunning and when the park are building new things they have all seasons in mind, so I am pretty sure that Luna Park will look fantastic during Halloween. You have watched a theme park documentary by Coaster Stop. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe.
If not, I will come and haunt you. Ha, ha, ha. Thank <laughs> you.